I work with a lot of leaders, uh, leaders of big public companies and leaders of small businesses, the companies that, that are doing very well and some that <laughs> need a little bit of help. And one of the interesting things is that by and large, most leaders of those businesses or in fact divisions of those businesses view themselves in a couple of ways that are relatively common. Variations on a theme really. Uh, one set of leaders view themselves at the top of the organization, connected to everybody in the organization by virtue of the relationships that exist uh, through their hierarchy. Another set of leaders view themselves as enabling leaders who are there to support everyone in getting the job done, getting the work done. And again, connected to everyone in the organization by virtue of the relationships that exist. And the challenge is that if you really want to be a good leader and know how the people feel who do the work every day with your customers, um, you need to be connecting beyond just the people who report to you. You can't do that though because there's kind of a barrier. You can't really get through this little layer called middle management. You need to be going there. I contend that if you're going to be a leader of an effective organization that does things incredibly well, you're a leader that's going to reach out and build relationships just like any other employee does, not by virtue of where you are, but because you're working hard to make relationships and connections deep into your organization. When you do that, you start to understand really how things work, really what's broken, and you may in fact find that one of those people has the best business idea that you've had in a long time and helps you really make the leap you want to make.